This is the first step of our treatment process. It's called microfiltration. Down inside of these pools, you actually have secondarily treated sewage. And this is our source of, uh, of the drinking water that we make at the end. Uh, and it takes 45 minutes from beginning to end, from sewage to drinking water. Down inside of these uh, basins, we have uh, cartridges in which um, water is drawn through the sides of these straws and then taken up through the center of these straws. And they're 1 300th the size of a human hair, the, the internal size of the pore. And that will, that will keep all of the, uh, most of the bacteria and viruses out. This is the reverse osmosis uh, portion of our treatment plant, which is the second part of our treatment process. Uh, we're running about 120 million gallons of what was sewage through here a day. And uh, out from, from this, uh, the water is very, very clean when it comes out. All of the bacteria and viruses and particles have been removed. And it's actually cleaned down to the atomic level. Where all we have left is the H2O molecules. So this is the third and final step of our treatment process. Uh, this is uh, intense UV light, like concentrated sunlight. And this is manufactured by Trojan UV from Ontario, Canada. And uh, inside of each of these vessels are 72 bulbs that look like this. Uh, and these are actually made out of quartz because quartz does not absorb any part of the uh, light spectrum. And uh, we run the water through this and we put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in it. And uh, that causes a reaction that would that would eliminate any, anything that might be remaining in the water. This water here was uh, sewage 45 minutes ago, and now we've made it into uh, clean drinking water. So here's the handoff here. So cheers. cheers to you, Kim. Yeah, tastes like water. T tastes like water, H2O molecules.